Here we go. Well, it is a scorching September day. 100 plus in my courtyard and I am chilling out in my fountain and I wish to share some hot September afternoon poems from a book I did a while back called Little Horse Selected Poems. I'll start with Maypoles in September. Another September sailing swiftly on a sea of the sands of time. Would that I could turn the hourglass over and reverse the flight of days, weeks, years. What would September from back to front sound, smell, be like? Would October cover colored leaves return to green? In my dreams I have seen such phenomena. Of course, in my dreams, I have also flown above the mountaintops, forests, seas, and dry river beds. Perhaps the realm of dreamland, an appropriate place for time to change directions with all the attendant wonders this could bring. I would sing with the spring birds, dance round the maypole in joy, at least as long as I were old enough to manage the ribbons and wreaths. Alas, reality shreds dreams and airy schemes, saying softly but soundly, Poof! There are no maypoles in September. <laughs> yes, yes, there are no maypoles in September. Well, all right, no maypoles in September. Let us then go to the wild grape. The wild grape. There were times in my summer when nature played a tune most pleasant, exquisite to my perception. A song sweet and sensuous, a serenade. Enraptured by the notes, allure, my senses throbbed in crescendo, an awareness dominating all reason as the enchantment expanded. Deity of the reed pipes played the tune to which I danced delirious, a savage roundelay of profound and pointed passion, intensely sweet. This to the chant of Omadon in the highlands, where... Such music so often prevailed, where wine of the wild grape drank I. <sighs> Sweet those memories. Sweet indeed. Wine of the wild grape. Try it sometime. <laughs> so then, this is a sort of a, an attempt at a form poem. Pellucid ponders. White roses waving in the wind a lone dove in love on the roof, have I, or have I not sinned? And if I be bad, where's the proof? In my mind's sky, clouds are gold, by fly birds of fire, birds of ice. Tiny islands in the stream are cold, a warm body to snuggle would be nice. Four red hearts on a clover stem, green leaves of summer, blue of sky. If their eyes say yes, I love them. If their eyes say no, I sigh. Nocturnal drums percussion make, primal impressions deep in my heart. I dance all night without break, make love all morning from the start. Footsteps in the sand of passion's ebb, tales of trails taken, told in tears. Enmeshed in society's puritan web, I sift through remnants of lost years. Pellucidly pondering portions past, from these ashes my phoenix shall rise. When free air billows my sails at last, I'll dance moonbeams in night skies. A form poem. Not so good at the bloody form poems, you know, but I give it a crack now and then, you see. <laughs> anyway. My own Icarus. Nightmares of Taurus man real. In the darkness of a lonely cry, chilled by stone and steel, I struggle to rise, desire to fly from labyrinthine corridors of Cretan coerced containment. A father figure, finding quills of significant sequestered swans, wisely works the wax of binding as the grinding of gray days intensifies with the stretch of age. Trembling, I turn each page in my precious book of daring dreams, searching for vistas of vivid vision, tempests 
torpors and travesties, triangulate dismal days and nights. The father figure has worked the wax, has welded the quills to his will. Determined he my mind to fill with knowledge of thermals ere I fledge, is pledged to me an education of transdiurnal duration, where I find elation in the master's message. We are as castles made of sand. We soar in thrall to misadventure's wind and torrential tides of tomorrows. While our spirits reflect rainbows, revel we now in the song of the sun. Flight school then begun in earnest. Once fledged, I made the final run to gain the lift to fill my soaring sails. I am the one, now avianized in wax and wing, to accomplish the thing I see. I set my soul on fire and sing the song that truly sets me free. What ecstasy, what radiant joy. Fondled by a fascinated sun, I fly higher, faster, fervently rising on a turbulon of glimmering glory. This is the story of my ascension to the exquisite realm of nirvana. Oh, father figure, see me now, how far I fly, how far, how high, exhilarated in splendid apogee, me. Alas, I've flown too close to an unforgiving sun. I am the one who failed to heed vertical parameters of mankind. Wax of my wings melting, melting. I try to rise to attain the prize. I fail, feathers lost. I flail, falling. Oh, father figure, hear me calling. Spinning in a tumbling descent, I fall far from glory's grace into the deep, dark sea of sorrow. I drown in a torrent of tears, hearing the echo of a lonely cry. Ooh, I don't know if I've ever heard that one. I don't know if I've ever heard that one. I think here's another form poem. And this has to do with wolves, and I'm all about that. So, Moon Dance Memory. Memories consisting of moon dance, running with wolves in the night, noctilucent shapes of roebuck prance, echo songs of a wild delight. Running with wolves in the night, beside crystal prism waterfalls, echo songs of a wild delight through canyons of granite walls. Silent swift pads on damp leaves, sylvan shine eyes all aglow, shadows to trail of ungulate cleaves, a sanguinary scent they all know. Sylvan shine eyes all aglow through forest columned canopies, a sanguinary scent they all know, wafting on a woodland breeze. Antlered silhouette stumbling bleats, Draw sylvan shine eyes all aglow to gather gorging engulfed as they eat by a sanguinary scent they all know. Whoa. Man, that. Sounds of joy. On the phenomena of awakening, there is the occasion or occasions where once the awakening occurs, the reality of awake awareness frightens so much more than the dream one pulls the covers of La Deep Da back over one's harried head and commences to recount the sheep. To drift then, in deep dreamscape, one succumbs to a sensuous series of siren songs sweetly seducing the savage senses of the inner self. No fear of monsters or president thieves in this realm where arrows and pan are deities of the darker day, where play the sprites and sounds of joy. Indeed, where is that place? I need to find it. I need to find it. I tell you. <laughs> cloud shapes. I have long loved to look at cloud shapes and colors as they change through sunsets and rises, their sizes in summer climbing in clusters of billowing masses to the heavens. It seemed to me they possessed every shape of every organic thing in life. When young, I would lay on my back looking up at the clouds and daydream that I could fly among them, finding all kinds of adventures midst their mists. Kissed by a sweeter sun those younger days, I never forgot how wonderful it felt. I have long loved to look at cloud shapes, daydreaming of better days past and future. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, and I think that is about the name of that tune, I do believe, and that 
requires a bond audio 